Now let's play with the pelvis. Reposition your view so that you get a view of the pelvis area. Clone abs underscore bot. Open the scene editor. Find the bone name abs underscore bot parentheses two. Rename to pelvis underscore bird. Rotate the bone 180 degrees. Create a keyframe to lock the bone in place. Open the properties box. Resize the bone to the length of the pelvis. Clone pelvis underscore vert. Open the scene editor. Look for the bone named pelvis underscore vert, parentheses two. Rename it pelvis underscore horizontal. Rotate it forward 90 degrees. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Open the properties panel. Decrease the rest length of the bone down a bit. Move the bone further down the pelvis into a more suggestive position. Don't worry, it's not a trick. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Duplicate pelvis underscore horizontal. Open the scene editor. Find the bone named pelvis underscore horizontal, parentheses two. Rename it pelvis underscore L. Now go to the top view. Rotate the bone minus 90 degrees. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Move the bone to the center of the pelvis. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Clone pelvis underscore horizontal again. Open scene editor. Find the bone name pelvis underscore horizontal, parentheses two. Rename it master. Move it to the center of gravity. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Now clone master. Open the scene editor. Rename it shoulders. Move the bone to the top of the ribcage area. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Now we're done with the backbone of the skeleton. Ta-da!